Good morning. It's day one of Booktubeathon. Good morning. Good morning to you. It is day one of Booktubeathon, if you couldn't tell already. I have, well, I say that I woke up like 20 minutes ago, but I've just seen, like, I'm part way through watching the first challenge because I didn't actually know that there were challenges. So, yay. I'm sorry, I'm still very tired. This is a lovely look for me. Did you have a good walkies? Did you have a good walkies? Yeah? Yeah, we did, didn't we? Paw? That's your face, not a paw. Paw? Paw? Yay! Uh, yeah, it's like, what? An hour later, I didn't even tell you what the time it was. I just went, it's Booktubeathon, and then watched the video. Um, I think I'm gonna try and do that now, because as much as I was like, it's gonna be so difficult, then I realized a book that I have that might be quite simple to do. So I'm gonna do that. I also, where's my phone? Where's my phone? <laughs> Hello. I was on the walk. I dipped into my first book. And that was, wow, the one time, oh, no, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so I am just at the end of chapter two of Le Big Picture by Ben Fritz. And it was interesting, because it's about the Sony leak, so I was like, ooh, gonna find that some tea. Gonna spill it, gonna spill it everywhere. That's what the youth say now. I'm still young, right? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just thinking, I think I know what book I'm going to do for the challenge today. If you haven't seen my TBR, I put up a video, I will link it in the corner, but here is a quick little overview. Sneak peek, oh, whoa, you don't even know what was there. So I think I might have some breakfast and listen to, I don't know, I might get it out of the way now. I'm gonna hunt for objects because, yeah, I know what book I'm doing. I just spent like five minutes looking for my phone, but I have all of my stuff on a chair. You have to believe me. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm about to set the timer for five minutes, even though I've picked something ridiculously easy in my opinion. But that's okay, because it's still cut. It could have been easier. It could have been easier. Right, okay. And we're doing it. <laughs> Like, Hayley had her book background out on hers, so, like, she had it not easier, but she already had that there. Can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> wow, I did that in like three minutes and so many seconds. It's Twilight! I don't think that's that bad. I think that's quite impressive. Do you know what? That's actually quite satisfying to make. <laughs> it's five minutes past two and I have read three chapters of Phantom of the Opera and I really, really like it. I thought it was gonna be like most people think with classics, I thought it was going to be really hard to get to, into, especially with this one being French. Like, some of the names are a bit difficult to pronounce for me, but other than that, I love it. I need to actually do some housework because my house is a tip, like usual on these vlogs. Yay! So, I'm going to listen to The Big Picture, which I am... Do, 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 do. Boom. I am... Well, I have eight hours and 58 minutes remaining and I listen to it on one and a half speed. So yeah, I'm on chapter three, part way through that. So hopefully spend like an hour cleaning, I'll go for a bit more of that. It's like another hour now and I listened to another two chapters of my audio book, but I've just started reading Phantom again and like, I've only read a couple of pages, but I just love the way that the Phantom signs letters opera ghost. I don't know why, that just makes me happy. It's like, opera ghost. Because it's the most unterrifying, it's the least terrifying thing he could have signed it as. Like, I don't know what would be terrifying, but it just, it makes me giggle. And 
it's so not scary but I don't really think it's meant to be scary I don't know I don't know I'm really really enjoying it though I'm on page 37 right now so super happy fun times and it is now 6 15 and just cooking dinner for a minute but I am 88 pages through Phantom of the Opera which is basically about a third through which is more than I expected so while that is happening I am just going to start off another book for the evening which may seem completely unwise but I am starting with Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie which is again another short one it's 260 pages so it should be fun yay I don't know how much more I'm going to read today I might just have an evening of like vegging out like a big vegetable it is now 10 to 9 and we have been sitting, how long have we been sitting down and reading for? Like half an hour? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Either way, I am, how many pages through? I'm on page 42 of Murder on the Orient Express. It's actually very good. It's another surprising one. Um, I'm going to carry on reading this this evening. Ian, what are you reading? Uh, Hero of Ages. Yeah, you. Yeah. Not long ago, you read it. Yeah, I know. So, what page are you on now? Because I'm totally going to track you. Or what page were you on at the beginning of today ish? I think it was 150. Okay, so you're on page 150. Was. No, like at the beginning of this week. Yeah. Can I see how much you read over the course of this week? I want an update every night. You watch, I managed, managed to finish it. Do it! I want you to finish it. I've done that man before. I know you have. I believe in you. I think last time I did it was the expanse. But I believe in you, and mm. that's what counts. Today I've read the I've listened to four chapters of the audiobook. I have read 88 pages of Phantom of the Opera, which is the book to movie crossover you've got to watch it as well, blah blah blah. And I've read 42 pages or however many, 42 pages of Orient Express with the beautiful spine. How has your day one gone? Was it a success? I bet you finished about six books. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Oh. Sure.